November 4th, St. Vitalis and Agricola Martyrs. During the fierce Diocletian persecutions in the year 304, two men in Bologna, St. Vitalis and Agricola, became symbols of unyielding faith. Their bond was one of devotion. Agricola, a noble Christian, and his servant Vitalis, converted through his master's example, chose the path of faith even in the shadow of death. Vitalis, although a servant, displayed such a courage that humbled even his master. He faced torture with such conviction that his executioners, unable to sway him from his faith, marveled at his resilience. Beaten, scourged, yet steadfast, he breathed his last words in praise of God, a testament to the strength of his newfound faith. Though heartbroken by Vitalis's martyrdom, Agricola, too, refused to deny Christ. He was offered leniency if he renounced his beliefs, but his resolve remained unbreakable. Even as they prepared his cross, he faced his tortures with unwavering courage. Pierced by nails, his body weakened, but his spirit held strong, a quiet defiance that spoke louder than any words. Nearly ninety years later, St. Ambrose found and honored these martyrs' remains by relocating their relics and spreading word of their devotion. He described them as heroes, not defined by rank or wealth, but by their shared bravery, exemplifying that true nobility is found in faith alone. Their relics, precious symbols of salvation, inspired devotion throughout Italy. Today, Saints Vitalis and Agricola are venerated as brothers in Christ and faith. Their shared courage, celebrated each November 4th, continues to inspire, reminding us that no bond is greater than the one forged in faith and sacrifice.